sexy. Is that for me good? Very nice. Mm. No, there's a knot right there. Yeah, so there's. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. Okay, yeah, I feel that. Yeah, that feels like it has not been stretched like that in way too long. Maybe this guy. My, my pants. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. That's what I want. Now. Okay. Can you put a book? There we go. Let's get. Can I give me a book? We're figuring this out together. Are you okay? The only way I can describe it is like when I'm walking or running. Yeah. It almost feels like I actively have to like make the motion correct. Like it, it doesn't, um, it just doesn't want to, maybe it's, you know, from, I think it was the leg, you know, over. It just doesn't quite, it almost feels like there's like a clicking sometimes mm -hmm. when I'll be on the ground stretching it. Um, okay. You know, like going from uh, regular down into like cobra. Yeah. I, as far as range of motion too, uh -huh. I can I can feel it when I'm you know on the general going back yeah. this way. Um, definitely like this way doesn't seem like it wants to lay all the way down. Yeah. And then when I go this way, it also kind of feels a little more limited. Okay. Yeah. The oldest traumas die hard. <laughs> yeah, it's it definitely feels like it's gonna be the last to go. If but was, we can get it. <laughs> it's like. Nobody, nobody remembers anymore like the old VHS is you have to like watch all the scenes that you saw as you're rewinding the tape you know all the and then the last scene you're going to see as you're rewinding is the first thing that happened bend the knees for me there we go you got the leg action push a little harder exhale let go relax the jaw relax the jaw relax the jaw beautiful deep breath in one more let go chin down and then relax the jaw exhale Beautiful. Let's go on your side face with me. Deep belly. Deep breath in for me. Exhale. Twist. Exhale. There we go. Does that for me good? Very nice. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Let's go face up for me, okay? Very nice. Face up. Alright, Dr. Miffle and this is Pam. I know. I have. <laughs> Show. Oh my gosh, yes. Seinfeld's close though. Right, mm -hmm. right, right. Uh -huh. There we go. Oh boy. Uh -huh. Relax here. There we go. Okay. There we go. Let that go. Uh -huh. Relax here. Oh boy. Okay. All right. Okay. We'll get it. There we go. There. There, yes, yeah. oh. some goodies. is that you're, what's happening is that your total range of motion is normal. The issue is that it's not all happening where I want it to happen, which is your upper neck, you know, mm -hmm. and your lower neck is so flexible that it can mask the fact that your upper neck is slacking a little bit, right? So it's just, it, right. that's what this knots are up here is that they're the representative of, you know, immobility, wow. some tightness up here. But because this is so flex, because you're kind of naturally flexible, you know, you're, well, I'm doing fine, Ed, I know, but I want it happening from here. <clears throat> I want your upper neck being the primary mover right up here. Okay. Right there. Okay. Right. So 
what does that mean if it's that? No, there's no air bubbles in there. It's moving, it's just there's no air bubbles. Uh, but the bones are moving into place. Just, sometimes mm -hmm. they're not going to cavitate for us. So you no. felt moving and stuff? Yeah, there's, there's all the, the knots up here are going away. This is getting a lot smoother up here. Feel how smooth it is now? Mm -hmm. It's getting... You know, but there's just no... Sometimes there's no air bubbles in the joint. To, that feels good. The left side's got a little bit more. Yeah. Right. Oh, it's almost gone. Right there, yeah. Right there. I'm gonna wash all that in a second. We'll go right there. Yeah, right there. That's such a unique feeling. Mm -hmm. I kind of forgot how mm -hmm. cool it was. <laughs> like connective tissue fascia fascial adhesions that form in tight areas underneath the skin the tissue like kind of gets stuck on it on each other Much better though, wow. Yeah, I was hoping it would be a lot easier. Little, little tiny little mm -hmm. nuggets now, not, not nearly as. Yeah. yeah, last time it felt like we were trying to break a wall. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is that? Uh -huh. Definitely tell I'm gonna get I'm gonna get it worn out here. Uh, mm -hmm. He's getting tough. Me too. Mm -hmm. I think of like Jurassic Park. At the beginning, it's always ooh, uh, then there's running and screaming. At the beginning, it's always like ah, uh, then I'm suffering at the end. Uh, Okay, all right, all right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm.
No, I wish you forgot, Ed. I wish you would have forgotten. Seeing a difference when he does tree pose, right? You know, then he's, then we have a range of motion, internal and external. You know, old injury has locked the joint down. If it actually is the socket, it's usually just mobility. Injury causes decreased mobility, which then makes it feel weird, right? So we have to kind of kind of go in there and release the inflammation, the crystals, the adhesions that build up in the hip socket. Well, as I'm trying to say, if, it, if, it's, if it's all from the lower back, then the dental will fix it, you understand? And then the care I just did there, but mm. no, there's a knot right there. Yeah, so there's, yeah, that's what I'm feeling. Like right there, there's a... Mm -hmm. It's just... We'll get it, okay. There's an injury in the, in the soft tissue around the hip socket here. Mm -hmm. Just got to work that and get that out of there. Yeah. And that's kind of that noise too that it was kind of grinding, grinding. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like sometimes it'll click in like a different spot, but then yeah, that, that's the spot where it feels like it's sort of like grinding in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's yeah. more coming out here. There's there's an injury. To the yeah. Show this better on camera, so guys. <laughs> or a tensor fasciolata, you know, the, you know, the muscles that stabilize the hip have been injured and, or just, you know, traumatized. And you've got to go in there and untangle them. Very good though, not the song, but not, not as crazy. <coughs> Excuse me, and I remember last time you kind of mm -hmm. said that the left side of the back was like overworking and the right was under. Mm -hmm. So like I've tried to really think about that when I'm like doing like rows and stuff for the back to try to get that right side to activate because it kind of doesn't want to. Right. I mean, right now the back shoulders, back shoulders, back shoulders, mm -hmm. the back side. I mean, my goodness, you're, it's pretty level. If anything, the, I mean, the left's a little bit elevated here, but mm -hmm. you really leveled it out. Good, it's good. not nearly very good as, as crooked as it. Yeah. Yeah, it should auto level as you're stretching because then the side that's mm -hmm. higher gets more pressure on it so you feel like you're crooked initially and then as your back levels out it, you know, it doesn't feel like you're lopsided anymore. Yeah, like there's no crunchiness over here. Mm -hmm. It like that is, you know, still sort of tight the right uh -huh. side, but uh -huh. it's not. Yeah, it, it seems like it's more towards the top on the right, uh -huh. while the left it like will go all the way down, like through. It, it, it all feels super. Yeah, like right there, maybe a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, maybe some there. <clears throat>
I shouldn't have said anything about my hip socket. Oh, yeah. Well, that's better to take care of it. Uh, <sighs> but it isn't fun. Any exercise you're doing at the gym that might be? Are you exercising this morning? No, that's Good. the thing. I'm a little f afraid. Hey, like I haven't do? done any leg days. I just kind of run and walk for. Uh, how, for how, legs. how long are you running? I run okay. not too long. Um, that that's kind. Of, this is kind of what holds me back, honestly. Um, if I go like mm -hmm. oh, much over a mile and a half, okay, um, it'll my left leg. It you know kind of just everything hip down. It's, starts to like tense up on me mm -hmm. and I'll just go home and try to sh you know stretch it out as much as I can mm -hmm. um, yeah and I've done some like try to start doing some exercises just like laying down just like small things just movement more mobility just trying to get it going again mm -hmm. there was an injury right here there's definitely this yeah not much mark coming out around but right there mm -hmm. I could feel it when I was using my knuckles mm -hmm. it's definitely tangled tree pose they call it right this you're trying to work on stretching with a frog pose there's one face down where you're you know you can my sister does a lot <laughs> you know face down you got your legs up in a frog position kind of idea or you, I like to do it just by do a butterfly like you just did like this with your legs yeah that's what that's part of like my morning routine I'll, I'll hit I'll go, I'll go like this uh -huh. and just kind of pull it in and mm -hmm. see how far it can go that yeah this when I will, will like get up and like start like I'll go up on the wall and do like just some like, like these uh -huh. just and this this is always like uh -huh. popping around some right so yeah just there's there's first of all there's tangled tissue in there the, the tissue's been injured and then it healed knotted up and then we have to kind of comb that and work that a few times okay. I'm more concerned, really. My this is way more expensive up here. Mm -hmm. You know, keeping keeping your and then getting your spine healthy. All the extremity usually follows.
you ever work on splits or anything? Do you ever try working on stretching your legs open? I'll, I'll kind of, not like a full split, uh -huh. but I'll kind of do some like some of these. Show me the differences between into... Show me the differences between your left and right when you sure. do this. Yeah. Uh-huh. Is that one easier to come down on that one? This one's a lot tighter here. Okay, so stretching that one. Mm -hmm. It's stretching a lot more. And I'm, yeah, it feels like I'm at about the same. But yeah, I'm very tight in here. That's what I'm trying to say. I wonder how much, if we could work on stretching those at home, like trying to work on like, mm -hmm. you know, getting down. Yeah. Keep your, you know, keep your, but if you do this in Taekwondo, they kind of just, you know, one at a time and you're stretching that inside of the thigh. Yeah, that's. There you go, I know. I haven't done this in way too long. Oh my gosh, not anymore. I'm way too tight. But you're feeling it in the muscles, not so much the hip socket. Yeah, it's right. yeah, it's more the the muscles on this on this one here. Kind of like chain in my leg it just seems to be off when I'm exercising. Mm -hmm. It's back some more. One hundred percent. What's half? What I, what I see easily is that your left, your left hip is forward. You're saying this is forward. Like, okay. actually, like when you're standing, this is how you're standing. From from front to back, does that make sense? This left hip is more forward than your right hip. Okay. Yeah. So, anything, this is usually opening this up, this way. Is how you're going to stretch that back, because it's it's kind of curved inward. And then when you're exercising or doing activities, it's not feeling right because it's not in the right position. I would almost maybe even take a break from stretching the right one. Just just work on the left one. This one. Right? So just either I do it on the back, you know, on the on the den roll. Mm -hmm. Work on stretching this left hip open. You might even need to do it on the edge of the bed or something. <laughs> you know, like the so you can just like let it go like down. Let it, let it, let like it stretch. Kind of help it. Yeah. Like let it stretch open, or like this, letting the knee mm -hmm. kind of drop over the edge of the bed because the floor's in the way sometimes. You know, and somebody putting a, I could either have to grab it and push down. And then you got to hold this just like you're stretching your back. You know, mm -hmm. to get it to change, it's the same principles. Okay. You know, you can't just do it for two minutes because it's the it's the ligaments in the hip socket that have to be altered, right? So either either taking your hip and letting it stretch back, like even like laying one glute. I would I would probably do it this way. This is the best way, stretching and taking my hand and trying to stretch that thigh, the whole leg off, yes. or keep it keep that there. Okay. Let, let the knee go past. That okay. makes sense. So you're keeping this. It's hard to do it yourself, but you would be able to hold this hip down. And then, okay, yeah, I feel that, yeah. I'm not sure how much you can reproduce by yourself at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that feels like it has not been stretched like that in way too long. Because yeah, every time I stretch it, I'll pro my hip, I, and I'm not noticing it. It'll probably go over there, to, mm -hmm. so I'm not getting the full stretch. You gotta really, keep that. yeah. <laughs> keep that hip down. You need to invite your friends over and say, um, "I need you to hold my hip." Hold hips. my hip. <laughs> so I can stretch. Your true friend, hold a hip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what happens is, what I, what I see is that you're so flexible. You're saying your total range of motion by most doctors would be rate listed as normal. Okay. Do you understand? That's the problem, is that you're able to get flexibility from other areas, so your total number's fine, but there's definitely restriction there's here. Right, okay. And then what's restricted stays restricted, and what's loose keeps getting looser, and so it's, mm -hmm. it's not, it's not getting out of feedback loop there. And then you can get stuck with, if you're trying to loosen everything, you end up just further imbalancing it, because the loose gets looser and the stiff gets, doesn't loosen as quickly. So you almost, like, I would just almost take a break from doing any right, like, tree pose. Just do your left one. Mm -hmm. You know, stretch that open. Yeah. You know, maybe, 
Maybe this guy, my, my pants, you know, you, you understand? But you, you would just do, I guess. Yeah. I no, you, yeah, I've been enough. hitting those with, um, after I'll do my 20 minute on the dinner roll, I'll, I'll flip them. over. It's not deep enough for me. I don't but think I had been doing it on this side because because it was helping this back open up more. Mm -hmm. But now I see how the other side can help the head too. Yeah, let me try that. So you keep the right leg is going to stay straight. Yeah, and then you're just taking so the, the right one actually stays straight. You're just doing the left one. I want to do. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. There. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I feel that. Ooh, yeah. That's what I want. Now. Okay. Can you put a book? There we go. Let's get. Can I give me a book? We're figuring this out together. Are you okay? <laughs> right. One book at a time. See what I'm saying? Oh give yourself some room to, to stretch. It's not. It's not. Go. You're too flexible. You need. You need something to prop it up. And then stretch like this. Just brag. I'm just, just going to see. Just two. Yeah, I'm just going to see. I'm just curious what that looks like. Right. Now you have room to grow There's into. There's more of it, yeah. That's what you got to, and I want, I'd be curious just to hold this for 20 minutes. Yeah. Stretch that. And if it's too intense, then put down one book. But I would say get a book or block like that, stretch that hip back. What's happened is you have an injury to the backside. The top and backside have an injury that your body's rounded the hip forward to get away from, right? And it just healed in avoidance of that back injury. So part of it is as we, as we gouache on and clean and get rid of that inflammation, it won't be needed to be avoided. It's the same thing. It's an antalgic maneuver your body did. And then now exercises you do, you're noticing that, you know, all that, all that grime on the backside is just building up and getting bigger. Got to stretch that hip back, compress it all. It's like a pocket. It's like a, I don't know, it's like a closet that if you leave empty your body, somebody will fill it with something. <laughs> so it's like your body had a space, a cavity to put, and then just fill it with a bunch yeah. of junk. So you got to... Go through it and Ooh. execute. Yep. I really started noticing it on lunges, uh -huh. like when I would, because when I would, I would lunge down for like my right leg, it would feel pretty good. But uh -huh. then I'd go down on this one, and it would, it could almost, it almost felt like I couldn't even keep my leg straight. Let's do, show me. Because like the muscle. See how it feels now. Yeah. So like I go down this one, it feels pretty normal. That, uh -huh. it, this almost feels like I keep, like it's just kind of, I guess it's kind of burning because we've been stretching it. Uh -huh. but yeah, it just feels very weak and like I, just coming up and down out yeah, of that. It's just it's like a whole different motion than this. So the, the other component that you're going to be addressing here is that if there's the nerves that go to there are also the lower back. So the nerves yeah. that leave your lower back go here. Okay. Weakness can be is usually neurological, right? It's not so much that there's, and it can be injury too. You have, you have injury to muscles that make the muscles not perform well, but if they don't resolve, it generally can be, there's some level of nerve pressure. So keep doing your dead roll in here, you know, moving the stress off your lower back. That's what, that was originally what we brought in for, was, like, was, the, was the lower back, right? Yeah, yes, right. That, was, yeah that, that was the big thing. Right, so just getting, Getting the lower back continuing, it's about a year really of dental and to, to kind of clear the back as mm -hmm. being a possibility. And then if you have a year of dental and it's a piece of cake, I'm going to start venturing into the hip like we did today and, and making sure the hip is okay. But fixing the back first, getting the posture is paramount. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Just like that. Okay. Kind of middle, upper neck. Legs are straight for this guy. If you can. Oh, okay. Yeah. Keep that out of the way. You push it away. There we go. But yeah, you know, sometimes I'll take my hand, place it on my forehead my head to sink in okay yeah. and then you put your hand back down you know put it, put it back down here there we go kind of middle upper neck not so low it's in your lower neck not so high that your chin's down but kind of middle upper neck okay and the same principle it's 20 minutes and just this is the is there should I feel like I'm slightly tilted back or should, should it be, be straight back yeah I mean, we we okay. can gosh neck was pretty level so I would just do I would do right in the middle Right in the middle. I would, I would keep it, you know, like I said, middle, middle upper neck. But I'm saying sometimes I'll have people turn their neck. I don't think that for you, I wouldn't do that. Okay. I would just keep your head straight on it okay. and just do 20 minutes. I definitely think that one stretch will do a lot. Because, down. Yeah, just just a few 
you know, minutes it's there. Again, okay. we should actually like look straight yeah, forward sure. and rotation. Okay. A little better, yeah. No, but it definitely, yeah. When you, when you, like from your torso to your hip, <laughs> you know that left to what you the left one. You're saying when you're standing there, mm -hmm. it's much better now. But yeah, you, you're definitely rotating. You're yeah, rotating that I, left I hip forward. To, I tend to have a pelvic tilt sometimes, mm -hmm. and I'm I'm trying to actively, you know, get it right. Now part of that also is that the, the lower back, yeah. your body is going to twist to try to alleviate lower back. So I would just. Work on the hip stretch, but I would focus on again ma mastering your back one. If you want, if bang for your buck time, keep working your back dead roll. And then if you're noticing you have some extra time, work on that hip stretch. But mm -hmm. the hip is usually almost always a, a domino from the back. Makes sense. Pleasure. Thank you, All right. Yeah. Thank you guys. Of course.